So this is Baruch here. It's Erev Shabbos. It's uh, very, very close to, well, the Halais of Rosh Hashanah. It's a lot to be thinking about. And I just want to learn a little bit more. I have just some, more, some questions that I had because we're going to be finishing up the Lima that we're doing on uh, Rosh Hashanah, right? Because it's coming and that's it. So we're going to be here reading this this Indian right here because he's going to fill in some blanks for me exactly what is the sequence of how things work. Because I, if you were learning with me yesterday, uh, I, I was confused exactly how the sequence, which comes which. In other words, do the mocha they go into to uh, when the dormita where their anpin goes to sleep, and then the mocha at the side of, of uh, what we I, let's say we call the gavur dick side that's the bina and the gavur is the does. They're going to go directly into the nukva. Now, exactly when these different transfers takes place, take place, I think we're going to address it here a little bit now. He said, "Begam sar you have to know this. Kibiyom rishon bilvad only on the first day. Kodim teki is shofar before the shofar is blown. Menasra or gavuros, then the gavuros are already in the nusar. The nikno benukva ayedecha beima, and they come to to the nukva through ima." Shalom Ayadeh Zer Anpin. So he says this is Kodim Tekiya Shofar. Before we blow the Shofar, the the the, uh, the Nasira has already started. Zerabavel Achad Tekiya Shofar, but then after the Shofar is blown, beyond Rishon, called Bechinas the Siris, and after that, call the the Bechinas the Chadir Zagod of the Nit of the Nisanam of the Nukva. So all of the 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 process of giving over the Nukva and then giving them into the Nuk. Who are you days there? Anpin Atzmel. So let's just, this is a really important idea here. It's not for me. But after the shofar is blown, before the blowing of the shofar, the Nisira is already taking place. But after the Tekiya shofar, then you have a different situation. So the Valacha Tekiya shofar beyond Risha, called the Kinas Nisiras Hagavura of the Nisinas and the Benukva and all of the the, the Gavuros going over and they're giving over to the Nukhu Ayyade Zer Anpin Atzmo, it's going to come from Zer Anpin. And this is part of the confusion that I had yesterday, and he's answering it. So before Shofar, the Shofar is very important. Because the four, the shofar is actually the action that brings the mochin back into their anpin. Shalom ayyadeh ima. So then ki achra hatakia haki, because after this blowing, chazra rabi ima v'nispash, the bazaar, she comes back and she makes a, a further uh, his pashtas into their anpin. Vafim anu tokim pam sheni biyom sheni. So let's say that on the second day we start blowing again. Who the tam and nizka v'elis for the reason that we said before. But the dinim are only the nasser. After the kiya shofar, the yom rishon. Only after the kiya shofar, the yom rishon. I'm a little confused. I guess I'm right. Abo ein hadinim the nasser. So the dinim after the first day and after the kriyas, the blowing of the shofar. The only way that the dinim are the nasser is after the kiya shofar, the yom rishon. El Ayadeh Anpin, because then the Mohan leave the Nukva, uh, that is the Nukva Zer Anpin from Bina, the Bina moves and come back into Zer Anpin, and from here, that's where they're given to the Nukva. Now that's probably a really important idea for me, and uh, let's take a look at, over here on the number pay bet, right, and here we're going to be in the Tibagavanos. So the Tidak Tibak Abana said, Lifinesha Maskil the Harche Babir Inyan Dina Kosha before we really get into the concept of what is the real strict din. And then comparing it to the Dina Rafia or the weaker din. Maskame Antaha Bikatsaras, so now we're gonna come and make this little conclusion here uh, in a short way. Mashin is Boyer at Ko what has been explained up until this point. Now what I like about it is, is that he's putting it in sequence. <clears throat> So we can understand the words. Because on the first day of Rosh Hashanah, before we blow the shofar, the, 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 the dinim that were inside of, we went from, we said from Kasser through the Chagat of Zer Anpin, are all Manasser, they're all Manu, there's a Nasir for them. 
the highness chef of Hassan and the Gavuras, this is the chef of the Hassan and the Shahod and Imsat and Atzlo that were found by Zer Anpin. A Machvis Kane is Stalko called the Gavuras shall Kachbad Chagat with those Zer Anpin. The no full love Tardema and he falls asleep. Now let's just one this one phrase that I got a little confused. The Hainu Chef of Hassan and the Gavuras. So he wants to say that these Mochin, I don't know why he's speaking, but all the four Mochin leave. They're all going to leave their outfit. When Machmas came to Stalkul called the Gavuras, and for this reason, all the Gavuras shall cough about Chagat Metov their Anpin, they leave their Anpin, and they're up into the Nook now. The Neufel of Tardem and Zav falls asleep. So he said, And when he falls asleep, then all of those Gavuros that were inside of their Anpin are now going into the Nook. And now she's getting the Shef from Ima herself. And since that's happening, she doesn't need their Anpin for the Shef. So she doesn't have to be clinging to him anymore. But in the Sarah, and if is and she becomes removed from him. That is that aspect that is from the the Kesser, the Kesser uh, all the way down through the Chagat is going to be removed and be placed in the Kesser of the Nook. But after the key is chauffeur, is after the key is a chauffeur. Chosrim mamochin the iba the zos their anpin the mochin come back out of the Nukva. And they come into Zer Anpin, and this is the action of the shofar. By a day kach, and through this way, through this way, Miss orders Zer Anpin, Meshin also, it arises, it rouses Zer Anpin from its sleep. Being machim chosrim kala gavuras and soak Zer Anpin, and along with them, all the gavuras go back into Zer Anpin. Al the shehem mutalk was Yosef, but since they were up above the head of Zer Anpin, and even went into Bina, which I believe you're going to say, I'm not sure. They get sweetened along the way. And now it goes back the other way, and the nook begins to receive again her gavuros through their anpin. But they're sweetened gavuros now. So this is a switch that takes place in regards to the shofar. Before the shofar, you already have a nasira. So the nasira is taking place, but after the shofar is blown, then they the mochin, that comes as a result of the mochin that are inside of the nukva, they come directly from Ima. But now Ima pulls out after the shofar blowing. And she had, and all the mochin go back into their anpin, and now they're Sweden, that is the dinim that were in uh that that were in the upper part of their anpin, or any other dinim that are coming back are, are now going to be sweetened as a result of that experience. And that's what she's going to be getting through Zer Anpin. So now that the Ema has come back and spreading it to Zer Anpin, why? Because now there are new Mochin. They come into the Ema after the Nesira. And these, these Mochin are going to be much sweeter Mochin. So therefore, the nook now is able to receive the chef of these bro of these gavuros. and they're not going to be so strict. They're not going to be harsh. So moving on to number peyvon. So we had said the reason why we blow the shofar on the first day. It's because of the histalkos of his mochim. The mochim also the chesadim and the gavuros. So that's the das is zeranpin. That when of uh, that is the middle the the yisod of uh, of of ima which houses the das is zeranpin. All of those mochim now come out. So he no full of love tardema. Now Zarf, he go falls into a deep sleep. Kaderik Adam Yashin she misdalgon like a sleeping man. She misdalgon the mochin. The man who is deep sleep and his mochin are not there with him at the moment. But gadei lahachzer of the mochin the ima. But now you need to bring the mochin back in order to be able to do that. The sochun to bring them back into zera. I've been talking b'shofa b'sod oro oro. Yeshenimatardimas and awaken those sleeping ones from their tardema. So he says, okay. So he says, in other words, there's an arousal. So the the ima the sochotokim b'shofar the shofar causes an arousal. 
which makes the process kick off. But now on the second day, this is an also important that's important to me. You don't have to start over again. The Mochin are already inside of Zer Anpin. Ain't token to see the Sistalkos and Mochin. We're not blowing in order to wake a, or rouse the Zer Anpin to wake him up anymore. El Kamosha Mavor, Bakata Hakoidim, like we explained in that little piece that we just saw, where he says, Shukum Machmas the Ora, it's for the reason. It's not for the same reason. It's the reason to arouse the Sphira in the Nukva of, of Chochmah to be able to receive that on the second day is when the, all the Mochin, which are not part of the Kasser itself, that were in the Kasser as a deposit, now all flow back, back into Chochmah. And the blowing of the shofar at that time, he says that this is the sequence that brings, that announces, so to speak, the, the arrival of Chochmah into its Kli. Now we have one more in this series. Like we mentioned up above, that after we blow the shofar, after the blowing of the shofar, the mochen go back into Zer Anpin, and then now we say that they're sweeter. Now we see that the nook comes back to receive the, the gavuros through zeranpin. Because he's giving her the gavuros. So this asks to answer a lot of questions for me. First of all, the Nasira begins as a result of our tefillah and what's going on in the day of Rosh Hashanah. And the time comes for the mochin to go from the castor of Zer Anpin, or that is the Gavuras there, all the way down to his Chagad, are going to go into the castor of the Nook. That happens before the blowing of the shofar. When you blow the shofar on the first day, then the mochin leave the Nukva. The nukva. Oh, so I've left this out. So how does that happen? It happens because Ima pulls out her mochin, and she takes half of the mochin, and she brings them into the nukva, and that stimulates the nukva and builds her up, and now she is able to be able to draw uh, the gavuros, I guess that it really came out as their anpin, into her castle. Along with the gavuros, they go with, uh, all, as we said before, of uh, chokma, bina, and the uh, and and those of their anpin, of the six kitzvahs. So he says, so he who knows in law gavuros, so let's go on and let's see what the next part is. So now we have to go on and we have to explain. And what it is, and this is what we know. Let me bring this down a little bit more, see a little bit better. Uh, where are we? We're over here. Uh, okay. So who ki he named no the shad mako machaza de zer anpin as you're heading downwards, I guess, until the place of the chest is zer anpin. Oros a mochin is starting the enim is galin. The mochin there are closed in. They're closed. Once again, he says the oros a mochin that is the light that is generated or that's really the pinimi to the mochin. Uh, and this starim is all hidden in that area because there's no opening it just goes through the butt through the uh yisod of ima heading towards the das is anpin but at the same time there's no opening there so from the chaza lamala there's no opening but at the chaza itself there is an opening Ve'inim is galam as a result of that those mochim are not revealed the hiyosim tocha kli the yisod the ima because they're still in the kli of the yisod of ima which stops at the chaz. So let's see a little bit more, and let's see number peches. The second day is the nesira of chachma. Yavu ata the farish al pi zeramad dula yom rishon nechshol dinikasha. So why is the first day? Let's try to understand this. It's a strict end. And it's it's weaker on the second day. Parts of Zam is Chalak the Shtei Chatsoim. So let's take Ja Za and let's drive the vitamin too. Chatsoya Elyon who ad Siem Shlish Elyon the Teferis Shisham Omed the Chazer Shalom. 
So he says that, where is this? He says the, um, the way he says that, it's at the end of the upper shleif of the Teferis Azir Ankin, which would be the, the place where the, I would say more or less, And I would say, uh, so he says, so he says, Siem Shlish Elyon to Teferis, that is from the chest going upwards, Shasham Omeh the Chazu Shalo. That's, in other words, the bottom of it would be his chest. But Achetzi Atach, and then there's another part, who Mishte Shlishim Achronim, the Teferis, says from the lower two thirds of the Teferis, Ad Siem Raglov, and now he's divine what he means by half and half. He named he says in those like this, keep parts of Zeranpin Noilud im Shisha Svirus Chagat nine. So Zeranpin is always a six. He's always this Chagat nine. Uh the next of Bimendashlosha Mochim. So the, what is missing are the his mochim. So in other words, he has Chesed of Ortafaris, that's a holy so that's his body and his legs. What about his head? Then after what happens is, is the Netzachod Yasod of Ima, which is a higher dimension which is penimi to him, comes into him, and manifests in him, and it makes inside of him three mochim, called chabat. They spread on the, through the whole body of Zeranpin. So we'll make it quick, and we said that the Netzach the Ima goes down the whole right line to Zeranpin. This is where you find the right line, which is called Chacha. Hod the ima, so the hod of ima inside has mochim for zeranpin. Niknas called kav small. It goes into the whole left line of zeranpin. Shesham nimsoim bina gavur vahod. This is called baga. So it has these three, these three different spheros. Goes it penetrates them. Aval yisod the ima machba shehi kitzar, but the yisod of ima is short. Niknas bechetzi hakava imsoy. It really only goes as far as the middle point of the middle line. Venem is peshet is the call or a It doesn't go the whole middle line. El the rock ad sia mashlisha elyon to the fairs until the end of the slither of the upper slish slish third, which is the chaza shesham omed the chaza deza. For the chen bechetze elyon the zera ba'ad the chaza. So therefore, if you look from the upper part and you measure from the top down to the down to the chest. Ha oras anim soim shom besok yisod the ima the lights that are there. Inside of the Yisod of Ima, Hema Mechusi Vestumim, we call this in Mechusa or Sosim, it's closed up. The fish, Einim Yecholim, they bekoi over the Hispasha Bazaar because that, and they're not able to break out and to spread into the rest of Za at that level. Machbas Masach Kli HaYisod the Ima, because there's a covering, there's a screen over the, the Kli Yisod of Ima. Number Tzadiyah. Benimsa shecha shefa shalla chasade vachavura said imsacha besoh yisod the ima so comes out like this that the shefa the gavuras that are found in the yisod of ima nechloka the shnei bechino so now you're going to see that the shefa that is the chasade gavuros which are found in the yisod of ima are going to have two different kinds two different parts bechetze elyon malachas it is their anpin so in the upper half nimsa shefa zeb so klia yisod where there is the, all the chef of Vizir Anpin is inside of this tube, let's call it a tube, which is the Yisod of Ima. The Nikra Shef is also, and it's called closed up Shef. Machmas Masa clear Yisod the Ima because there's a film or a filter or a, a block, a screen of some sort around the Yisod of Ima, and so therefore it closes up all the Shef that's inside of the Yisod of Ima. But when you look at the bottom part, that's the top, the top part for the chaza going upwards. But you go downwards because of the mata, the zir anpin nimsa shefa haku the low kli nikra shefa megula, and there's no kli there because the kli stops at the at the chaza zir anpin. So therefore, there's no kli; it's open. The fish and mispashet sham lo lo masach are you so the ima because there everything can spread without the masach of ima. So let's see, we're running uh, a little long. This is going to be the last piece I'm going to do, and this is going to be Rosh Hashanah, learning the tibur kavanas for Rosh Hashanah, I think. <laughs>
So therefore, all of the Gavuras we find over there, excuse me, let me bring it back again. For the Chayim called the Gavuras Hashem Sham Lamala Bezer Anpin, which are up there above Zer Anpin. Nekroim Dinakashi, all of those, the, 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 the Situm there, the close up area, is all called the area of the Dinim Kashi. Shem Osam Agavur Shamarno. These are the Gavuras. Now, if you stop to think about it, we said these are the area of Gavuras that are going to go into the Kesar the Nook. Because they're going to be uh, taken out of the Kesar Zer Anpin, but also all of those the, all of those Gavuros go all the way down through the Chagat of Zer Anpin. I'd see them at the Ferris alone until the end of the Ferris. All of this is called Dinikashi. So this is what we find over there in that parsha. The dinim the churim the kifim beresha. Now we have this kind that the dinim and the chur are are tough at the beginning, but later on we're going to find out that they become sweet. And that was a drush that he has on the year. Is that now we're going to go in Rosh Hashanah? As soon as Rosh Hashanah is over, we're going to be in the dinim of the dechura over the time of the chur. And then it immediately gets dark, very dark outside. As a result of that, it gets cold. And so there's, as a result of that, that's considered the atmosphere of the Dinim Kasha. So let's see here. Let's go as quickly as I can through this, and this will be our last piece. The Via Amor, so according to what we said, He says, all the Gavuras, which are in the tube, so to speak, of the Yisod of Ima, from the Chaza going upward, the Hainas Sphiris Kach of Chagat, that's what they're called, Keser Chach Babina, Chesed Gavur Tzferis, that's what they are, Echem Gavuras Kashos. Because why? They have to get those gavuras from a place which is sealed. Because the shepherd comes out to them. But Simpson, but it comes out with a Simpson. Now, how does a Simpson work? Uh, the he wants to say that it's that because the light is coming a minimal amount of the gavuras. I'm not sure what he means because it says there's a there's a masach there. The so it says it has to go to the mach the masach, which I'm not sure that I understand how, why that would be. I would think it would be the other way because he used that idea differently to say that it sweetened the dinner, but here he's saying no, those are the harder dinner because they're coming from the place which is closed up. I guess in order to get through the place which is closed up, you got to fight, and that makes them more difficult. That's the Fleischmann explanation. Beyond Rishon, the Rosh Hashanah, and the Asach of the Sira Bag Begaburus, and himself the Achrei Sphiris Kach of Chagat. So that's the only part that gets removed on the first day, Shema Allah Chaz, and this is the area above the Chaz. Vehem the Nazrach of Bezer Anpin, the Chokhs the Nook, so they leave Zer Anpin, they go to the Nook, but Gaburus and himself the Achrei of Sphiris, Shalomata, so the, those, those Gaburus. Now he says, where are the Gaburus found? They're found on the back sides of these spheros. And now we're focusing on those spheros that are below the the area which we call Kachav Chagat. He said, That's only going to take place. And through the 10 days of repentance, so we'll see this as we go in. For this reason, it's because it's called the harsh din. Because the gavurs that are taken out in this day, they come from the upper part, which is the place where they are all closed up. Which is a strict din, which is not revealed. So now he says like this, so this is the end of it now. That it's difficult at the beginning, but at the end it gets soft. Because this, you could say, is a metaphor for this. That the upper half of the of the Yisod of Ima is going, that is the Yisod of Ima below, above, excuse me, above the, the Hazit, is going to be Kasha, hard. Because the chef inside is sauce. 
The Hetzi Atachdom, who rock Machbas and Shefach and Begula, but the low part is where there's an opening at the bottom of the Yisod of the Nukva, and the Shefach comes out, Shanim Sesham, and all of this is revealed, now it's going to be revealed Shefach, that's found in the Nukva. And that's going to be it here on Rosh Hashanah. We may be coming back to find a little bit of shtickle on the Asaras Yibay Tshuva. This is Baruch Fleischman, Tegan Elevator Cola.